Okay, situation. I goes down to the tip to get rid of some rubbish. I turn around, there's an old geezer. In his hand, what he would consider to be unwanted product, goes to chuck it in the dust cart, and I was like, whoa! You can't chuck them away. I'll take them. So I've acquired four walking sticks. Yes. Now, what I'm going to do with these walking sticks? Well, I was thinking, old people tend to walk around in fear, so let's give them a little bit of protection. Yes, we could put like a little piezo zapper on the end of it, so it'll kind of like look like a taser, only it won't be nowhere near as powerful. But I think that'll go down pretty well on old Cottonhead Street. What a load of rubbish. So, that is what I'm going to do, but more so, because I've got a new bit of kit I want to try out. Yep, I've got one of these. Yep, got myself a 3D printer. Now then, the shed is where everything gets made, but this is a delicate piece of equipment, and this is not the sort of place where you put a delicate piece of equipment. Shed's on fire, yeah! Because things happen in here. There's a lot of mess created. <laughs> and it just generally is not a good idea. So, I'm going to stick it in the bunker. Okay, all set up. Welcome to the 3D printing department of the bunker. Now, if it gets a little bit too exciting, it's all right. We've got plenty of toilet roll. <laughs> right, so I'm using Autodesk Fusion 360 as my drawing program. But before I did that, got my old vernier calipers, measured the uh, diameter of the walking stick. And the thing I need to consider with this, you have two prongs, but you don't want them sticking out all the time, because obviously when you're walking along, they'll get bent and get covered in muck. So I need to deploy them, so they need to be set back and then they need to flick forward. But rather than me trying to explain how I'm going to do this, because I've got to house a little spark generator and a battery somewhere, I'm going to print this first batch of drawings that I've done out, try and put it together and then see if it needs a little bit of work after that. Right, let's print you lot off. just push this forward look it works how does it work well basically we've got the battery and the spark ignite housing here and then the cables go through underneath and then these two screws which stick out when they meet those two screws that completes the circuit for the battery and fires off the uh, spark generator which basically connects to these two rods which run down here and then up a little bit offset sort of thing and then out to the little prompts so of course when this gets deployed and then sticks out in front of the hatch and then there you go and then it will spring back again so what have we got to do to improve this because there are some improvements there's some certain things which don't fit in very well because i suppose when i drew it on the computer i couldn't quite visualize what i'm doing and i've got some things backwards so when i've actually gone to put it together there's recesses that should be on the opposite sides to what they were and all that and then also the battery and stuff could fit in here a little bit better and then course the bit which I completely overlooked is we've got no trigger and nothing to push this bit down here so I need another orifice and another rod or something to go along here that I can push it in and then it will pull it out and then it will spring back automatically but there we are 3d printing exercise one not too bad I mean at least it works so right get on the computer redesign them and then print the whole lot off again
two is finished. This one's all right. Look, little trigger system like that, put it down there, connects to the rod. There's a little spring on here which keeps it sprung back. And then of course when you push it all the way, the connection is made, and bust! Yes, old people, you're gonna love it. Oh, I suppose it'll do. So you see, you can walk around. The prongs do not touch the floor, it's a normal walking stick. The old geezer gets jump and he's like, bush! Stay away from me, I'll have you. Right, so, how was my 3D printing exercise? Now it's pretty cool, yes, everything looks a little bit like a vinyl record because of the, uh, the finish on it, but you know, you don't use a tool for why it's not any good, you use a tool for its strengths. And it's little things like the slots you can put in, like the countless and nuts. I can't do that on the lathe. I mean, I probably could have made that bit quicker than it could print out, but I can't do all those other little bits. And that's what you've got to think about when you do these things. You've got to use the tools to the advantage. Yes. Now, as far as accuracy goes, let's have a look. Got the older calipers here. Make sure they're on zero. This was 60 mil on the uh, computer program. And in reality, it is... Yeah, 60.2. So it's a, a tiny, tiny fraction amount. I have noticed if you have like a four mil hole, you will have to drill it out slightly with a four mil drill bit, but it doesn't take loads off. It just literally just wears the side off it so you can get a nut in nice and easy. But yes, brilliant. 3D printing gets the tick from me. I need to learn to use the software a little bit better. I think that's the uh, main shortfall. I mean, this isn't the perfect design, but you know, it's nice and simple for me to start with because it's all nice and round. There we are. Now this wasn't a sponsored project, but Lulzbot did send me the 3D printer and of course you will be seeing more of that in future videos. And talking of other videos, if you want to see more crazy projects, click on this box for crazy inventions, click on this box for super epic vehicles or whatever I choose to put in, and of course the middle one, which is probably covering my face, subscribe, click the notifications button, all the social media stuff like like, share and boom, boom, boom. See you in the next one. Ha!